building the generator by first changing the length dimension to millimeters. You can do that right on the utility toolbar. And then we're going to change our view limits so that the minimum limit is minus 20 for both X and Y. And the maximum limit is 120 millimeters in both cases. To begin with, we'll create a number of rectangles. So we'll use the geometry creation toolbar, which has a rectangle command, and we'll activate the rectangle command. Now, once we've done that, the command line asks us to locate or enter one corner of the rectangle. The first rectangle will be at 0, 0, and its opposite diagonal point will be 80 and 100. Now, the rectangle command is still active, so we can go on creating another one. The next rectangle will start at 20, 20, and it will finish at 60, 80. Now that completes the core uh, armature and also part of the rotor. We'll next create the coil regions. The first coil will begin at 44, 28, and for its endpoint, we'll use the automatic calculation feature x plus 12 and y plus 44. The last rectangle begins at x plus 28 and 28 and it finishes at x plus 12 and y plus 44. And that completes the rectangles. We created the rectangles which will form the core and coil of the generator. And now we have to create the circular arcs which define the rotor. So we'll do that by using a circle command. So we'll activate the circle center radius speed button and the command line asks us for the center of the circle. It will be at x equals 10, y equals 50. And then it asks for the radius. And the first circle will have a radius of 20. And we're going to have a, another circle with the same center, 10 and 50. But this time the radius will be 22. Now we don't need any more circles, so I'll hit the enter key one more time to end that command. You notice that these circles have been drawn and they cross the line segments which will form the boundaries for the magnets and the core, but they haven't broken these lines. We'll do that using a geometry healing command. We'll go geometry, healing, intersecting segments. Now the program has gone through and has found two segments that intersect and it asks, does it want us to break the intersection? We can go yes, no, or all, and we'll go A for all so that it will break all the intersections. Okay, so now we've used the healing command to break the intersections, and this has also created some regions. If I go in on the inquire area speed button, you'll notice that uh, there's a closed region here and a closed region here. If we delete these closed regions, that will eliminate all the unneeded geometry, and then our geometry will be complete. So we'll go to the Modify toolbar and activate the delete command. And we'll select these two regions and then right click to end our selection process and then right click again to end the delete command.